Have you ever pondered on the mechanics behind the conversion of alternating current into direct current? If so, you'll be interested in learning about a pivotal component that facilitates this process, known as a bridge rectifier. Bridge rectifiers hold a world of intrigue, and today we're delving deep into their realm, solving mysteries and uncovering their secrets. A bridge rectifier is a specialized circuit designed to transition alternating current into direct current. This remarkable transformation is made possible through the use of diodes, semiconductor devices that allow current to flow predominantly in one direction. These diodes are meticulously arranged in a bridge circuit configuration for optimal performance. Typically, a bridge rectifier is composed of four diodes named D1, D2, D3 and D4. The truly remarkable thing about these ingenious devices is their ability to consistently generate an output wave of the same polarity, irrespective of the polarity of the input. To provide a practical illustration, imagine a bridge rectifier composed of four diodes. The input is supplied across two terminals A and B, while the output, the transformed DC current, is collected across a load resistor connected between C and D. Picture a positive pulse originating from the AC input, labeled as Terminal A. This sets off diodes D1 and D3 to become forward biased, while diodes D2 and D4 switch to reverse biased. Subsequently, the current carves its path through the short-circuited route formed by the forward biased diodes D1 and D3. Thus, the voltage developed across the load resistor RL will be positive towards the end connected to terminal C and negative at the end connected to terminal D. What if a negative pulse emerges at terminal A? Polarities exchange roles, diodes D2 and D4 switch to forward biased, and diodes D1 and D3 flip their bias. The current flows in the converse direction, yet the polarity of the voltage developed at point C, the load resistor, stays constant. This signifies that no matter the nature of the input pulse, whether it's positive or negative, the output at load terminal of the bridge rectifier consistently sustains a constant polarity. This remarkable characteristic is the true marvel of a bridge rectifier. However, the DC output from the bridge rectifier isn't perfectly smooth. It has tiny ripples, like a calm wave with small ups and downs. To achieve a purer DC output, we can team up the bridge rectifier with a capacitor connected across the load terminal. In this configuration, the positive pulse at the input causes the capacitor to charge through the diodes D1 and D3. However, as the input voltage tends to reach zero at the input, the charging action of the capacitor ceases and it starts to discharge via RL. This results in the generation of DC output, which will have ripples in it as shown in the screen. This ripple factor is defined as the ratio of the AC component to the DC component in the output voltage. In addition, the mathematical expression for the ripple voltage is given by the equation VR equal to IL by FC, where VR represents the ripple voltage, IL represents the load current, F represents the frequency of the ripple, which will be twice the input frequency. C is the capacitance. Further, the bridge rectifiers are primarily of two types, viz. single-phase rectifiers and three-phase rectifiers. In addition, each of these can be either uncontrolled or half-controlled or full-controlled. If you want to know about these rectifiers in detail, please comment below. I will make another video on these topics. So the next time you turn on your favorite electronic device, remember the silent hero behind the scenes, the bridge rectifier. It's a small but mighty component that keeps the flow of DC electricity going strong. For those who want to deepen their understanding, there's a video available in the description on how PN junction diodes work. It's a great resource to supplement what we've just discussed. Remember to like, share and subscribe if this video is helpful. If any questions arise, feel free to drop them in the comment section. Stay curious and keep exploring the incredible world of electronics.